God bless you. I just wanted to go uh, live for a couple of minutes, and uh, and also this will be posted somewhere else. Uh, that's not on a live basis, but just wanted to do it just for a second. And I want to I just call this one, Remember the Time. Remember the Time. The amazing thing in life is that we can remember our failures sometimes since the fifth grade. We, we remember everything that we've done wrong. We remember every blow up. We remember the smell. We remember the cologne. We remember the perfume. We remember the, uh, the stench of when we have failed. I talked with a lady once who was well in her 70s, 70s. And uh, she said that a high school principal who's been long gone, had to been dead 40 years maybe because if she's 70, that principal's so much older, but she said that she was made, uh, not a high school, an elementary school principal. She was made to stand on stage uh, because someone was talking. So she was humiliated before the whole school. The thing that surprised me is that this lady in her 70s, many years later, still found the possibility to find a tear. How in the world can we hold such things, but we don't remember the times where we just smashed it, knocked it out the box, uh, went over the edge, hit the winning basket, uh, won the sales contest, blew the records out of the place. And I'm not talking about going somewhere and being stuck in nostalgia, stuck in memory lane but you're the same person that won big once or twice or multiple times. Why don't you remember the time? Because victory isn't a long distance call for you. It's something that you've experienced enough that it should be a local call. But I was thinking about, because we can carry baggage, we can carry it. Life hits so hard. Life gives us such bad breaks. Life gives us such uh, gut punches over and over and over again. But we don't remember the time that we won big. And many times for you to advance in life, the enemy knows that I'll just cause them to forget that they can win. Perhaps a divorce happened, perhaps a loss of a job, perhaps some financial reversal. All of those things can happen in this thing called life. But do you remember the time that your back was against the wall and you won anyway? Do you remember the time when they counted you off and they were betting on your demise and you proved them wrong? Do you remember the time that you were the one that was on the chopping block and God calls you to exceed, succeed and break every record and, and redefine what a good employee or a good business person in the arena is. Folks, you need to remember the time. It's amazing that we can carry the baggage. We can carry baggage a long time, but we don't remember the times that we won. You've won on more than one occasion and sometimes on the worst day of your life. You need to go back to those memory banks and think of one of your victories. And I'm not talking about being stuck in nostalgia, as I said, but you need to remember and realize that you're the same person that won big before and you can do it again. I know life hits you with so much thing and we're always singing that classic song. Uh, if it ain't one thing, it's another. But God has the ability to see you're the same person. You got to remember the times that you succeeded. Remember the times that you won. Remember the times that you were up against the odds and you still produced. Remember the time you were the one that made that difficult sale. You were the one that brought in that business. You were the one uh, that shined even though your business, everybody else in the company was having a downturn. So instead of remembering the difficult times, remembering the baggage, remembering the tough times, remembering the adversities, how about remembering the times that you won? 
Perhaps you hit that last second shot. Perhaps you're the one that produces in the clutch. Just remember the time. Sometimes when you got nothing else to go on, when there's so much, you feel like that guy off the Flintstones from many years ago, bad luck, slept rock, they used to call him. And he walked around and there was a cloud above his head. And the cloud above his head told him that nothing happened to him but doom and gloom. And you just need to remember the time you won before. The same God that allowed you to win yesterday, he can cause you to win again. Uh, these last two years have been so difficult to so many people. I, uh, I, I, it's been so difficult because COVID kept us away from folks. COVID told us that we had to, even in the grocery store, you can't get this close to this person. And sometime mama stuck at home, daddy stuck at home. Uh, who else was at home? Uh, uh, what's going on, my brother Troy? Mama stuck at home. Dad is stuck at home. Kids eating up everything. Then we just decided we didn't like each other. It was a difficult season. So we're coming out of a difficult season. And maybe this difficult season caused us to forget some of our victories. We were remembering the baggage, but we don't remember winning. Folks, sometimes you got to just remember the times. You got to be like Michael Jackson. Do you remember the time? And sometimes you got to have a talk with yourself. Uh, it was uh, 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 David remember his victory over the lion. That, that was, he remembered the time. Sometimes you got to say, I've beat big stuff before. I've succeeded in dark places. I've won despite the storm raging and the billows roaring. You just got to remember the times. If everybody else in humanity has forgot your victories, you don't be the one to remember that you won big before. Remember the times. We can all remember baggage, but we better learn how to remember our big victories because that memory means that victory already lives on the inside of you, that it's intrinsically knitted and carefully weaved into your DNA. Winning is a part of you. Be blessed. Have a great day.